Once you have installed your Quantum Life app, locate the Quantum Life icon on your iPad or your iPhone. Double click the app to open up the Quantum Life app. To proceed from this page, click on the image. Here we have the client records page. You have two options here. Your first option is that you can enter in a new client. Alternatively, once you have entered in your client, you may retrieve your past clients by selecting the client records icon. As you can see here, we have a past client. We can go ahead and retrieve our past client through this process. For demonstration purposes, we'll go through entering in a brand new client. Click on your first name and the last name. Once you are complete, select Done. The birth date, tap the birth date field area and your calendar will appear. Navigate to the correct date and once you are complete, in the top right hand corner, select Done. Identifying characteristics. If you select this field box, all of the information will disappear. Once this information has disappeared, you may enter in specific identifying characteristics for your client. In other words, perhaps your client has weight loss issues and hormonal imbalances. Once you are completed with that, select the Done. The next process is to analyze the client image. In order to do this, we need to upload a client image. If you are using an iPad 1, an iPad version 1, you will need to ensure that there is already a current image on your iPad. If you are using the iPad 2 or the iPhone, you may take an image with this icon on the bottom right hand corner. To access any existing images in your photo library, select the photo library icon. Your images will appear, select your camera roll and select the client. Once you are completed, the next process would be the actual scan feature. To activate the scan feature, select the scan button. Once the energetic scan is complete, select OK and then select Done. The next process is the spectral voice analysis. Select this icon and then select the record button. Have the client repeat a positive based affirmation, something that the client wishes to address. Alternatively, they could repeat the vowels A, E, I, O, U. Select the record button. A, E, I, O, U. I am healthy. Once the energetic scan is complete, select OK. Then select the Done button. You are now ready to begin the actual testing process. Select the Start button. In order to begin the analysis on each and every page, you need to start by selecting the Scan button. During the scanning process, the client's voice will be compared against all of these main items such as aura, body systems, chakra, emotional, injuries and so on. The higher the number indicates the more concern or the more out of balance that specific item is. That will provide you an idea with what you need to focus on to help achieve balance and harmony for your client. Looking at this current page, you will see the two highest items have appeared, the Aura and the Emotional Program. From here you have two options. 
Perhaps you wish to provide balancing to the aura. In doing so, rest your finger on the text. Holding your finger down, you can drag the item to the Balance RX tray. Perhaps you wish to balance the emotional component as well. Again, the same process. You rest your finger on the text emotional and you can drag it to the Balance RX tray. If I select this item, you will see we have two items that are ready for balancing. Before you begin balancing, you need to ensure that this drop down box is not visible. To remove this drop down box, just select the field and as you can see that will disappear. From here, we can go to the slider. This is your time slide. We can move the slide up to 1 minutes, 3 minutes, all the way up to 16 minutes. Normally we advise you start with a 3 minute or a 1 minute balance and then you have a look at the percent rectification. For demonstration purposes, we will select it at 1 minute. Once the balance RX is complete, it will give you the percent success. The 71% success shows the overall percent success of that balancing session. The results are broken up into a percentage scale according to the alignment, the harmony and the energy flow. The 71% is just the average of the alignment, harmony and energy flow. To get more information on the alignment, harmony and energy flow, click on the help section which is located on the bottom right hand corner. Once you have read the introduction or the help section, select back. The other option that you may wish to explore is the multi-layer RX tray. The multi-layer RX and the balance RX tray are two fundamentally different trays. The balance RX tray is designed to provide balancing to any specific item located on this page. However, the multi-layer RX tray allows you to save certain items from each and every panel to provide balancing at a later time. To give you an example, at the moment I have dragged the sacred geometry in here. Now, I don't wish to provide balancing immediately. I wish to analyze and to window in and I wish to drill down deeper into the respective programs. So perhaps I'd like to have a look at the emotional program. To access the emotional program, I would tap the emotional text. And here the emotional program will appear. To activate this process, I select the scan button. As you can see in the multilayer RX tray, I still have the sacred geometry. So perhaps I wish to balance all as an emotion at a later at a later time, I would drag all into this into the multi-layer RX tray. Going back, perhaps I'd like to analyze the risk program. To begin the process, I select the scan button. I can take the cardiovascular and again drag this into the multi-layer RX panel. Selecting the cardiovascular, you will see the drop-down menu showing the three items. You can have up to five items in the multi-layer RX tray. We view the respective programs or panels within the app as different layers of the body, different layers for analysis. So therefore, in using the multi-layer RX tray, it allows you to address multiple layers of the body during one balancing session. Perhaps I wish to balance these items in the balance RX tray. You will notice once I drag these items up here, and if I navigate somewhere, you will see those items have now disappeared, whereas the multi-layer RX items are still visible. Again, for further information or instructional use, you select the Help function. Going to Neutropathy, again to activate the screen, select the Scan button. Perhaps I wish to treat Nux Vomica immediately. I can do that through the Balance RX tray. As a reminder, if you see the drop-down menu appearing, you cannot drag the items into the Balance RX tray. You need to select the field to remove the drop-down. 
then you may drag any item into the Balance RX tray. However, perhaps I'd like to provide overall balancing through the multi-layer RX tray for Nux Vomica. Simple process, I drag that down to the multi-layer RX tray. During this presentation, we have given you a brief overview on the navigation and capabilities of the Quantum Life app. For the multi-layer RX tray, you have your timer sliding scale again, one minute going up to 16 minutes. And when you are ready to activate the balancing process, select the radio button and that will begin the process. In terms of the time for the treatments, let's say you have three items here and you wish to balance it for three minutes. What that translates to is each item will be stimulated for one minute. To give you a further example, if you have six items and you select three minutes, the time, the maximum treatment time or the maximum balancing time will be three minutes. Therefore, the time will be divided equally between those six items. Once you are completed with the session, select the Home button. Go ahead and press your Exit button, located on your iPhone or your iPad. You have now exited the Quantum Life app. However, the app is still running in the background. To completely close the Quantum Life app, you will need to double tap your Home button. Once you have double tapped your Home button, you will see all the applications that are currently running on your iPhone or your iPad. To stop the applications from running, with your finger, tap the respective items, and this will close that respective application. Thank you.